mandatory vacation increments. Another implementation of a policy is to require employees to take vacations in one-week increments. Now, again, you're not trying to show distrust for employees, but rather forcing a specific amount of time that allows auditors to come in. And it's a good idea, again, to audit all employees' work, especially those working with sensitive information. Allow enough time to come in so that someone else can come behind the employee, audit activities, validate that, indeed, they're working within the security policy so that you're not trying to get all the auditing work done in two days or three days. Mandatory vacation increments of a week is nice to get enough time to get in, do the work, validate, and move away. Job rotation is another way that you can rotate people or change their job responsibilities, giving another person the ability to come in to validate the work that's been done and to audit work that may have been done in the past. Job rotation also has the added benefit of keeping the work fresh, especially if it tends to be mundane administration type work, rotating to different areas of responsibility may actually keep the work a little fresher. All of these policies, if you decide to put them into your organization, should go into the physical security policy. It should be documented and specified line by line exactly what are your intentions. Again, high level, you want to let the guidelines and the actual procedures dictate the more low-level details of how you're going to implement these features.